So, you want to make an iron farm, huh? That's nice. That's real nice. Before we start, uh, this farm is for Bedrock Edition only, so all you Java players, get out of here! No, I'm just kidding, guys. You can stay and watch if you want. I really don't care. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a block of choice. This can be any block as long as it cannot burn. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build a 20 by 20 square out of this block that is too high. So, one, two, three. All right, guys, once you have your outline, it should look something like this. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your bucket of water, put them in each corner, like so. And the water should look like this. All right, now it should look something like this. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to each water puddle and break one block in just like this on every puddle. All right, now what you guys should be left with is this little plus symbol in the center. You're gonna to wanna to go over here and mine down four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and just do that for all this. All right, after you've got all this mined out, the next thing you're going to want to do is mine a little tunnel for you to be able to access your chest. And there we go. Now that you've got this tunnel mined out, you're going to want to decide which side is the front. I preferably like to make the front the side that has the tunnel, but you do whatever you want to do. Next thing you're going to do is go along and place these little holding cells. These are going to be for your villagers, and you just want to do a zigzaggy pattern all the way down, just like this. There we are. Next thing is to get all your villagers in here. This is the tricky part. If you have a villager breeder, then you can just use minecarts, but know that if you do have a villager breeder, this does need to be built pretty a good amount of away from your villager breeder otherwise they will link together and think it's one big village and it just won't work you'll have golems spawning outside and uh, it'll just be a hassle so the next thing you're going to, want to do is get your villagers in here i'm in creative so i'm just going to spawn them in with an egg so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now that you've got all your villagers in here the next thing you want to do is get your workstation now the workstations can be tricky because if you use a librarian or a fisher uh then it won't work in rain like it is right now so you want to pick a workstation that will work if you have this above ground you want to pick one that will work in the rain if it's underground then i don't think it matters i am going to use a grindstone because i want all my villagers to be pirates There we are, and they should all link up to that pretty soon. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is come over to this giant hole you've made and build up one, two, three, and then go across one, two, three, break that, and then you're going to want to place a bed right here. Now, the next thing you're going to do is after you place that bed, you want to place down a bell. Now, when you see those green particles, you want to break the bell and look for a villager that has smoke coming off, off of them. I think it was this guy right here. So I'm going to place this bell again. Break it. Yeah, so that means that this guy is the leader of the village. He is the one you want in there, dangling above the lava of certain death. So now the next thing you're going to have to do is get this guy out of here. And look, since he linked up to that bed, he will be trying to go to that bed. Let me cover this up so he doesn't fall in real quick. There we go. Now for this next part, you may need to block off some water just to have a little bit of workspace. And you want to build like a little staircase up for this guy to get on. There we go. All right, now he's linked up. Uh, we don't need any of this here. Break all this. And get rid of these stairs. Now what you're going to want to do is build a little dome 
around your guy. This part does need to be made out of glass, otherwise he will suffocate. And that will just be a whole other hassle. There we go. Now I've got our little dome. Let me put it up here. There we go. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is place a bell. And a workstation. But now you need beds for all these guys. You need exactly 21 beds. You can have more. Um, I don't know why you would want more, but it's just an option. I'm using white beds because these are white villages. Wait, wait. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 21. There we are. So now you can go ahead and replace that water that you got rid of earlier. Now the next part, we're going to get rid of this little... Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. We're going to get rid of this glass here. All right. The next thing you're going to want to do is go one block down and place a bunch of signs. You want this entire area filled with signs. You want every block to have a sign. There we are. After you've done that, you can go ahead and start placing your chest. You wanna put your chest about mm, right there with a hopper on top. Then you want to fill this entire area with hoppers, all leading to that one chest. There we go. It should look something like this. Now you're almost done. The only thing left to do is put in your lava. So you just take your lava. You don't need any specified amount. You just want to make sure that it covers this entire area here. There we go. And that is pretty much done. Now we just have to wait for the golems to spawn. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Why aren't you in there? Oh, <laughs> there's one more step, guys. We got to cover this thing in slabs. Otherwise, that will happen. And there we go. Now it's completely covered in slabs. And now we just need to wait for golems to spawn. And speak of the devil, there's one. And he should... Oh, let me see if that helps. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Now, as he dies, come on. There we go. Now, if we go down here, look in our chest. There we are. Four iron and a rose. Or a poppy. My bad. So, guys, this is one of the only iron farms that I know of that works on bedrock as of right now. And in my opinion, it's a very nice one to have. You will, it's, not, it's not a steady source of iron. Well, it is steady. It's just very slow. So you may need to still go out and mine iron unless you decide to make a bunch of these. Uh, but, you know, it does help. It does help a lot, you know? Other than that, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. I mean, it really helps out the channel and shows me that you guys like content like this. And, uh, you know, subscribing is free. So just keep that in mind. Apart from that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.